Fifi Mangake here. Let's talk about something that often leaves us with mixed feelings or maybe even downright annoyance. The notorious chosen one trope. You know, that overused plot device where the universe conveniently selects one individual to save the day? Yeah, that one. Today, we're gonna dig deep and uncover why this trope can often be a storytelling disaster. But more importantly, we're gonna use our beautiful minds to discover how we can give it a fresh spin that maybe won't be so annoying. The predictability factor. We all love a good surprise, right? Unfortunately, the chosen one trope has become so predictable that it often feels like we're reading the same story over and over again, no matter what the universe is. The moment we spot a protagonist with an extraordinary birthmark, or we see some ancient prophecy foretelling of someone coming thousands of years later to save the world, we can usually already guess what's coming. This predictability really diminishes the element of surprise in the story overall, and it makes it lose its sense of excitement and adventure because we already know what's coming. Many readers crave originality and a touch of the unexpected to keep them hooked. So it's essential for us to find ways to break free from this cycle of predictability if we intend to use the chosen one trope. One way to do this is by introducing unconventional twists within the trope itself. For example, instead of the chosen hero being an exceptional fighter, which we all come to know them as, let's make them someone with a unique ability or a skill that's not traditionally associated with heroism. Perhaps our hero possesses an extraordinary talent for diplomacy or possesses deep knowledge of ancient lore that exists in their world. If we can defy these stereotypical characteristics of heroes, we can also breathe a little bit of new life into this trope and create an intriguing narrative that keeps readers guessing. Another approach we could take to kind of remove this predictable element from the chosen one trope is to introduce layers of complexity to the prophecy or the chosen status. Rather than having some kind of straightforward, unambiguous destiny, maybe we can make the prophecy ambiguous or subject to interpretation. If we add this ambiguity, it creates some kind of depth to the story. The chosen one will then have to kind of grapple with their identity and purpose as they try to make sense of what exactly all of this means. It keeps readers engaged, and readers too will be speculating and forming their own theories about the true meaning behind prophecy or the destiny. And readers caring enough to make theories is usually a pretty good sign of interest in your story. By incorporating some unexpected twists and some uncertainty with the main character's purpose, we can maintain some sort of surprise factor and reignite the sense of wonder that the Chosen One trope can actually offer. If you're liking this video so far or just enjoying the speed draw of Rue from my manga Yield Treehouse, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. If you subscribe, I'll become the chosen one. So that's a pretty big deal. So help me become the chosen one. Subscribe today. Also, if you're in agreement or disagreement, leave some comments, have some discussions around this. These literary topics are so interesting to chat about because we all have different perspectives on them. So sound off, my friends. Okay, let's keep going. It all comes down to me. One of the main reasons the chosen one trope receives a lot of backlash is its tendency to isolate the protagonist from the rest of the world. It often presents a narrative where all the hopes of salvation lie solely on the chosen hero, leaving little room for other characters to have any agency or contribute significantly to the story. This isolation can make the protagonist feel really detached and, quite frankly, unrelatable, and audiences may struggle to connect with a character burdened with such a heavy responsibility. So how can we fix this exactly? Well, I think we need to shift the focus from a single individual to a collective effort. By creating a team of colorful characters with their own strengths and weaknesses, we not only distribute the burden of saving the world, but also foster camaraderie, collaboration, and meaningful relationships. Each character brings a unique perspective and skill set to the table, and this contributing to the success of the mission. This not only enhances relatability, but also allows readers to see themselves in different characters, pick a favorite, and find inspiration in their teamwork. And again, when readers care enough about your characters to pick a favorite, that's usually a good sign. You could take this even further though. Instead of relegating the team to being mere sidekicks or background characters, give them their own arcs and moments to shine. 
By showcasing their growth and achievements, we create impact around the strength and resilience of the entire ensemble. And that's really how you create lovable characters in a story. This way, readers can form connections with multiple characters and feel invested in all of their individual journeys. It's really powerful when you create characters that a reader or an audience can relate to specific ones. That means you have a diverse cast of characters that speak to different elements in people, and that's a powerful tool. Okay, we've got one last thing about the chosen one trope that I think we can fix, and it's lack of character depth and growth. Basically, a one-dimensional character. So these characters often fulfill the role of a heroic archetype, like I said earlier. They display unwavering courage, infallible morality, you know, all of the good things. But these sorts of one-dimensional characters often feel shallow and uninteresting. It's almost as if all of the interesting aspect of their personality is the fact that they are the chosen one and nothing more. So to improve on this, I think we have to delve a little bit deeper into our protagonist's psyche. And this is the fun part. We introduce flaws, doubts, fears, basically turn them into a human. <laughs> By humanizing our chosen heroes, we make their journey a lot more relatable and provide opportunities for growth and character development. And I personally think the secret sauce of a good character are really complex and interesting narrative arcs for that character, not flatline emotions and personalities. Let them face internal conflicts. Let them struggle with their responsibilities, maybe even question their worthiness or consider quitting from their chosen one destiny. Through these challenges, you allow them to evolve and transform. And ultimately, that will resonate with people on a much deeper emotional level. You can also explore the consequences of the chosen one's status. Dive headfirst into the psychological and emotional toll it takes on them. I personally never enjoyed how many chosen ones just go with the flow and do exactly as the prophecy foretells that they do with absolutely no consideration to how that's mentally burdening them. So you can take the opportunity to illustrate that. The weight of expectation, the sacrifices they have to make, maybe the doubts that they face, it could all contribute to a much more nuanced and captivating narrative for that character. By portraying the Chosen One as a multifaceted, multidimensional character, I'm pretty sure readers will witness a really realistic and inspiring journey of personal growth that they can become attached to regardless of how cliche that this trope is. Captivating the hearts and fostering a stronger connection between readers and the protagonist is a really important part of storytelling. And I think some of these tricks can help you do just that. The Chosen One trope may have fallen into disfavor due to its predictability, lack of relatability, shallow character portrayals, etc, etc. But by infusing our stories with unexpected twists, shared responsibility, and nuanced character development, I think we can rejuvenate this trope and save it from the pits of awful tropeville. So when you're creating protagonists and using the Chosen One trope, let's make someone who faces genuine struggles and grow through their experiences who are supported by a cast that's integral for their success. We can make this trope work. I think all it takes is a little bit of literary sleuthing. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I talk about lore, character design, tropes, narrative stuff, all while I'm building my own manga named Yield Treehouse. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.